question. Can the preacher be hindered? Huh? Can the preacher be hindered? Huh? Huh? Yes, the preacher can be hindered. Have you read where Paul said, I desire to come to you, but Satan hindered me. Have you read that? This is Apostle Paul, the father of New Testament revelation. Yet, he was hindered. So a preacher can be hindered. A preacher can what? How? How do preachers get hindered? Circumstances. Circumstances. <laughs> Circumstances can stop a preacher. Yeah. I was going to Ghana to preach. My own meeting. And it's a one day meeting. And the meeting was timed 7 to 9. So we bought a ticket to fly to Ghana with, 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 with Eric. And it was their evening flight. 5 o'clock. Because we were getting to Ghana 5 o'clock. Okay. If you leave Nigeria 5, you'll be in Ghana by 5. Because Nigeria is one hour ahead of Ghana. So I have calculated. We leave 5, we land 5. I get to the hotel, I refresh, and I'm at the conference venue at seven, two hours. Perfect timing. We go to Lagos and we're waiting for Arik for two good hours. At five o'clock, no announcement. 5.30, no announcement for boarding. Six o'clock, no announcement for boarding. Circumstances want to hinder me. Now, publicity has gone everywhere. Everything has been set for the conference. And it's a one-day conference. It's not a type you say, well, if I don't arrive tonight, somebody will speak and tell them I'm coming tomorrow. It's a tight program. So, therefore, I got to go. While I am sitting down from five, when Eric did not announce the flight, I began to pray in the spirit. I began to control circumstances in the spirit. And began to seek for wisdom in the spirit. Mashoka, Koroto, Kebado, Kabada. I'm sitting there, I'm blasting in tongues. And as I'm blasting in tongues, I'm listening in my inner man for direction. Then at six on the dot, Pastor Philemon, and I says to Pastor Philemon, because we're traveling together, go now to Eric and tell them to tell us nothing but the truth. Are they flying or not? That they shouldn't play with our intelligence because we will turn this airport upside down. They will know that men of God too can make trouble. Seriously. I told him, go and don't smile. Go and look like a very serious man. He said, okay, sir. He went to Arik. While he's talking to Arik, and they're saying, we shall fly, but we don't know what time, but we shall fly, we shall fly. He heard Arrow announcing, Arrow for Accra, boarding now. He ran to me and said, Arrow is boarding. I said, go to the manager now. Tell him I am in this airport, and I must fly with that Arrow. They have announced boarding. He went to the airport manager, but because of prayer, prayer has organized circumstances. The airport manager said, do you have the money for the ticket? He now comes to me, that is another problem. Because I have changed my money to dollars, and you don't buy Nigerian ticket with dollars. When do we go to change dollars? Another circumstance. Another circumstance. So now, the airport manager is ready to wait for me to buy the ticket. And he's ready to get me on that aircraft even though they had closed boarding long ago. But favor has opened that channel. So now I go in tongues again for another few seconds because we have a dollar situation. Now we have to go out and look for people to change the dollars and all that is delay. And they've already announced boarding. So what do I do? Because this is bigger than my knowledge. I have to depend on the the supply of the spirit, the mystery. I feel like I'm talking to somebody. So I'm blasting in tongues and walking around. Then the Holy Ghost told me to ransack my bag. I didn't put money in the bag to my knowledge, but the Holy Ghost said ransack. So as I ransack my, my traveling box, in one corner, I met an envelope. I pulled the envelope out, exactly the amount for the ticket. I gave to Pastor Philemon. He pays for the ticket. They gave me boarding pass. I'm sitting in the aircraft. 6.15 exactly, the plane took off. We landed in Accra, I mean 6.15 quickly we got to the place and i preached that program now if not for supplication and the help of the holy spirit 
I would have missed that program. Because we have finished the program when Eric arrived. But the, the good thing is, the program, what was important in the program was me. Satan could have hindered me. But when you begin to pray in the spirit, you outsmart the wiles of the devil. You overtake situations and arrange situations. So no matter how tight the situation, somehow, somehow, you will wriggle your way out. Because a man of the spirit cannot be stopped. It's like the wind. You hear the sound, but you can't tell where he's coming. Or I feel like I'm preaching. I prophesy over somebody, you are unstoppable. Your destiny is unstoppable. Your career is unstoppable. Your life is unstoppable. Somebody shout, I receive grace to fulfill God's purpose for my life. I didn't hear your amen. I mean, I could have been hindered. I could have been hindered and it would have been nobody's problem. It's not my fault. It's not their fault. But I couldn't make it. Because I have my boarding pass. I have my ticket. And the plane came. But it came when it was not needed. So you won't blame me. You won't blame them. Circumstances. So now even the circumstances. That will have brought shortage. In the spirit. I arrested it. How many of you understand? That's why it says. He that prays in the spirit. Speaks not to men but unto God he is speaking what mysteries you can't beat the place of prayer no 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 especially when you know how to pray the prayers there are also some times where you may not be able to foresee to be able to arrest situations so to avoid such 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 accidental situations that is why you pray always because when you pray always prayer will go ahead 20 years 30 years down the road and begin to control situations that you're not aware of so now by the time you arrive you find out that your life is just working well people wonder are you different no no it's not that i'm different i have taken care of situations years before i got there prayers are stored People that have lives that are full of disadvantages and that they are full of misfortunes are people who didn't devote time to pray and control the future. They allow the future to come on them by surprise. That's why if you're not a part of the prayer going on, I don't know what you're doing with yourself because there is, there is no way you can beat a man that is consistently praying. Especially pray in the spirit. The things happening with me today are things that prayer had taken care of years before now. The prayers you are praying now will take care of the next 20, 25 years, 15 years, 10 years. They will be there waiting. So things will just be happening and happening and happening. And people will be wondering what? No, no. There was a time when a people came together and took charge of the future in the present and stored up prayers ahead of time to take care of situations. So things are happening. The man is not scratched. Why? Prayers have been sent ahead of time to take care of situations. Am I talking to somebody here? Why is it that there were prophecies before Jesus came? Why didn't Jesus just appear? Why were there prophecies for 4,000 years of prophecy before finally he appeared? That is why within 33 years that he shook the world till tomorrow it cannot recover. The impact is unbelievable because when you pray ahead of time, you store up prayers that will produce unending results. Say, I hear you. Yeah. Parents that pray for their children, no matter how wild the children go, in a short while they come back and they behave for the rest of their life. Because after a while, the prayer will get on the children and begin to control circumstances that will make life, life, life uncomfortable for the children to live a particular kind of life. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Listen, let me give you another illustration. A particular family in this city, years ago, had a daughter that got to America and got lost. The parents said for years, we can count eight, nine years. The, our daughter has not called her. We, we don't know where to find her. She's been missing, but we know she's alive, but we don't know where she is. The mother was crying. So when you hear that, there's no English prayer that can fathom that. 
See, that's why if you're not baptized with the Holy Spirit here or on television, you need to talk to us after the service because you don't know what you're doing. You're cheating yourself. So I grabbed the hands of the father and the mother and I went in tongues. Hey, I, 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 I went in the spirit for a while. Then the Holy Ghost gave me an understanding of what to pray in English. So I grabbed the hands of the father and the mother and I said to the mother, where is the room of your daughter? She took me to the room where the daughter used to stay. I said, let's stay here and pray for her. I told the mother to kneel down. I prayed and I told the mother to repeat after me. I led the mother to Christ on behalf of the daughter. Then I now said, in the name of Jesus, whoever has been anointed to minister to this lady and get her saved, I release you now. And I command circumstances and situations to make life unbearable for her. Let her only remember that the place of solace is home. Two days after, two days, it didn't take one week, Two days after, she called her mother back in Uyo and said, Mommy, I'm frustrated. I want to come home. Where are you? Where are you? She said, I just woke up from, from, from beside the road. I got drunk last night. I got drunk last night. And the person I was moving with brought me out of the car and dropped me by the road. I just recovered now. I want to come home. The mother said, give us an address. She said, I don't have money to come. Say, just give us an address. We, we, we get a ticket for you. They got her a ticket. In less than one week, she was in Akwaibo. After nine years of being lost, two days after prayer of supplication, she was in Uyo physically. They brought her to, from airport to my house. I led her to Christ. So I was praying for somebody that would lead her. I didn't know I was the one. Most times when you are praying for God to say laborers, you are the laborer. I'm teaching here. How shall they hear without a preacher? 